In the United Kingdom, there are more than 100,000 people who live with HIV. Every one of them deserves the best possible care and access to effective treatment to ensure that the virus can't be passed on. But at home here in Britain, we're at risk of progress slowing down. The rollout of the life-changing drug, PrEP, hasn't been quick enough. And more than 6,000 people with HIV are undiagnosed. Clearly, we must do more. And globally, the fight is at risk. Even before the COVID crisis, despite having the tools we need, we were not making enough progress to reach the UN AIDS goals. We must protect the gains made in the HIV response over the last 20 years, many of which UK international development funding has helped to facilitate. But there is hope. Today, I'm really pleased to welcome the launch of the report, How England Will End New Cases of HIV. That's by the HIV Commission, the National AIDS Trust, the Terence Higgins Trust, and the Elton John AIDS Foundation. The Labour Party and I are absolutely committed to the goal of ending new HIV transmissions by 2030. There's nothing stopping progress but political will. We have 10 years to meet this historic milestone, but not a minute to waste. So on this World AIDS Day, we remember all those who've lost their lives in this epidemic and stand ready to end transmissions once and for all.